Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Luis and God bless every single one of you. Today is March 4th, 2023 and welcome to the Grand Spring News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, some huge information coming out. East Palestine Dam collapses and look at all that water, guys. And let me tell you something that is not clean one. That's a lot of stuff in that water being mixed with other clean water. So we need to pray for many people out there in uh, Ohio, but we have more breaking news updates. Shelter in place was declared. Uh, There's a shelter in place issue due to Springfield, Ohio train derailment. Also reported of power outages. Guys, I just posted this video not too long ago. Uh, here we go. Uh, the link will be in the comments box if you guys want to check it out. This is the one right here where it says breaking news. Uh, train derails in Springfield, Ohio. But I don't know how there's power outage. I mean, there was a, there was more than, I believe, I believe there's more than 20 cars that derailed, if I'm not mistaken. So there is a shelter in place issue due to Springfield, Ohio train derailment. Also reports of power outages. So here we go, shelter in place. The Clark County Emergency Management Agency is asking residents within 1,000 feet of a train derailment at Ohio 41 near the Prime Ohio Business Park to shelter in place out of an abundance of caution. We ask that all residents in need of travel to Ohio 41 find alternative routes. Local and state officials are on scene, including the Clark County Sheriff Office, the Springfield Fire Rescue Division, and the Springfield Police Department. Update 6.55 p.m. And it says here we are also aware of power outages in the area due to down power lines, and we are working uh, to gather more details and provide more information as it becomes available. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, and some loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get to access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, guys, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 US Highway 19, number two, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Guys, it's very, very, very sad what's going on in this area. It's like they can never catch a break. The people out there can't catch a break. So you have, um, earlier today, there was a, there was a massive, uh, fire going on you have a dam that collapsed and now you have uh, another train derailment going on there's also power outage and shelter in place now guys make sure you watch my last video the link will be in the comments box notification were not sent out again all the information will be in the comments box guys so hazmat crews are heading massive train derailment site with residents told to shelter in place. Now, currently a larger emergency response along with hazmat crews are underway to a massive train derailment in Springfield, Ohio. Now guys, I will talk about the dam that collapsed, but this is an update of uh, Springfield. I gotta talk about this one here. So Ohio, where approximately 20 trains, cars are currently off the train tracks, uh, officials are asking everyone resident to shelter in place and to avoid the area as it is carrying unknown material, possibly. OMG. The video that I posted, they say they don't have no idea what's in this stuff. But this is why I say it's, re it's, it's very important to wait at least an hour to get all the updates. So if you guys want to watch the, the rest of the uh, video, again, the link will be in the comments box. So I would keep it updated on this one here, guys. Once again, they are saying that there's a possibility. There's some very powerful stuff on this one here. Springfield, Ohio. Mm -mm. IPA is coming out and saying that uh, they're putting out this information right now. Guys, have you seen the movie The Simpsons with Springfield 
they had to put a dome over it and everybody was stuck in there i don't know i'm just saying the sp i mean the simpsons has always been uh on track when it comes to predicting stuff all right so let's go with this one right here i want to talk about this the dam that collapsed now dabu 77 he actually posted this not too long ago uh, i do believe that this is his uh someone shared the link so once again um east palestine dam collapses releasing some very powerful stuff now i do have the article here east palestine con uh, containment dam overflows ipa uh respond and there's a lot of stuff going on today I'm supposed to go to the movie theaters. Uh, and, oh, and by the way, guys, when it comes to Patreon, I'm I'm so busy today. I got I mean, I still have my second job. Uh, I'm going to have to do Patreon tomorrow. I'm so sorry to many of you. I know a lot of you have been asking to do Patreon Saturday. I'm really slammed today. Uh, that's why I moved it from Saturday to Sunday. But uh, I mean, after this video, I got to go back outside to my second job. So I will. I will push the Patreon for tomorrow. I'm so sorry, guys. I tried to uh, I tried to bring Patreon for tonight, but there's a lot of stuff going on right now. All right, so Friday's heavy rain. Oh. Oh, so they're trying to blame the rain. All right, so Friday heavy rain sent water overflowing from a large pool of water near East Palestine City Park causing concern among residents and on social media in light of last month events many excuse me mary uh, a public information uh, blue for the ohio environmental protection agency tells pittsburgh action news 4 the large pool was a containment damn that was actually part of mitigation work surrounding the storm mm. From what I heard, that water there mixed with clean water. See, Mr. Burns is so focused and so worried about Mr. Z giving Z billions and billions. This thing should come first. Now look at it. Vacuum trucks were used to pull up the released water. This person said the system allows them to control the runoff in the development area. Now, she also said no visible waste was released into the nearby streams. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She also said no visible waste was released into the nearby stream. The ponded water is also being tested. And the EPA, EPA says those results are expected in two to three days. Follow me on Patreon, okay? I would, I would say a lot of stuff on Patreon, stuff I can't say in this plat, you know what form. All right, so it released from the Ohio Gov uh, said that the dam near the confluence of Surfer Run and Leslie Run continues to work as expected. So Thomas, uh, Senior Director of Strategic Communication with uh, Norfolk uh, Southern said that the dam area lies a mile and a half away from the derailment site and that the derailment site uh, remains contained. Oh. This water is not coming from the derailment sites, this person said. We have purposely uh, dem uh, demand uh, this area to, excuse me, damed this area to raise water levels to follow for uh, assurances in heavy rains events. Those waters can rise and it's not a reason for concern. It's not a reason for concern. Mm-hmm. Man. Hmm. It's not a reason for concern. Like I said, follow me on Patreon, guys. Follow me on Patreon. But what in the blues is going on in Ohio? 
my, my, my. My goodness. Shelter in place, damn collapse, fire going on. We have some more information. Just in. Oh no, this is a, uh, uh, give me a second here, guys. There we go. Oh, so, okay, all the information was moved. Okay. So once again, shelter in place after cargo train derails in Springfield, Ohio. Yep. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, make sure you watch my other video. I post four videos today. Those link will be in the comments box if you guys want to check out them videos. And uh, thank you so much for sharing the video. Thank you so much for the support. And uh, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mention this really quick. For those of you that send us letters, uh, make sure you write. I mean, you leave your number there so that way I could call you. And thank you for the kind words for the support. Uh, I get so much letters, it's really hard for me to actually write back. Again, I mean, I don't have too much time. I'm really busy, constantly busy in the studio, and I do have a second job. So again, if you guys want to uh, send me letters, you can also put in your number. Make sure everything is anonymous. I, I won't share your stuff. But uh, again, for those of you that uh, want to uh, uh, send us letters or prayer requests, make sure you leave your number there so that way, you know, I can give you guys a call. And thank you for the kind words. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19. Number two, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, guys, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give your life to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time. Till next time later. Peace.